By the time I had arrived in England, most of my family had also left Germany. That is all but my mother, who finally settled here in 1939. She had been going backwards and forwards between England and Germany, tying up affairs and trying to bring over what she could. All our furniture and so forth was paid for to come here, but we got nothing. The Nazis auctioned it all. When the war had started, we received a letter from Holland saying that if we sent 400 pounds, the furniture would be sent over, but that would have just been 400 pounds to the Nazis. So we didn't send it, and we didn't have it. On her final trip over here, my mother was caught for trying to smuggle out her furs and jewelry. She was in prison for three days. Fortunately, my father knew the Bestein piano people. They were great Nazis and friends of, of Hitler's, but Bestein was also a friend of my father's too. I think my father rang him up from London to ask him to try and get my mother out, which he did. By the way, Bechstein perhaps wasn't quite such a great Nazi. He was what we used to call a Muss Nazi. He had to join the party in order to keep his business going. Schmidt, now known as John Smith, joined the Alien Pioneer Corps of the British Army in 1940 in order to, in his own words, have a go at the Nazis. He was given the choice of three British names, Smart, Smith or Smythe. There were two reasons for his disillusionment with army life. Firstly, the British NCOs showed signs of resentment and made him and his colleagues feel like bloody foreigners. Secondly, he saw no action. His section was due to leave for France immediately, but an outbreak of German measles prevented this occurrence. In retrospect, he considers himself lucky, as many of his colleagues did not return. In 1945, in the last few days of the war, a close friend of his, also a German, was killed in action in Germany by a German mine. Johannes had thought him one of the best clarinet players he had ever heard.